Priyanka Chopra Jonas is an Indian actress, singer, and film producer. The winner of the Miss World 2000 pageant, Chopra is one of India's highest paid and most popular entertainers. She has received numerous accolades, including a National Film Award and five Film Far Awards. In 2016, the Government of India honored her with the Padma Shri and Time named her one of the 100 most influential people in the world and in the next two years Forbes listed her among the world's 100 most powerful women. Although Chopra initially aspired to study aeronautical engineering, she accepted offers to join the Indian film industry, which came as a result of her pageant wins, making her Bollywood debut in the hero, Love Story of a Spy, 2003. She played the leading lady in the box office, Hits on Da'ez, 2003, and Mus Shadi Karagi, 2004, and received a critical acclaim for her breakout role in the 2004 thriller Atra'ez. Chopra established herself with starring roles in the top-grossing productions Krish and Don, both 2006, and she later reprised her role in their sequels. Following a brief setback, she garnered success in 2008 for playing a troubled model in the drama fashion, which won her the National Film Award for Best Actress and a glamorous journalist in Dostana. Chopra gained wider recognition for portraying a range of characters in the films Kamini, 2009, Seven Kun Mav, 2011, Barfi, 2012, Mary Kam, 2014, and Rajira Mastani, 2015. From 2015 to 2018, she starred as Alex Parrish in the ABC thriller series Quantico. Chopra has since played supporting roles in the Hollywood comedies Bait Watch 2017, Anisanda Romantic 2019, and Return to Hindi Cinema with a leading role in the biopic The Sky is Pink 2019. Chopra also promotes social causes such as environment and women's rights, and is vocal about gender equality, the gender pay gap, and feminism. She has worked with UNICEF since 2006 and was appointed as the National and Global UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador for Child Rights in 2010 and 2016, respectively. Her namesake Foundation for Health and Education works towards providing support to unprivileged Indian children. As a recording artist, Chopra has released three singles and provided vocals for a number of her film songs. She is also the founder of the production company Purple Pebble Pictures, under which she has produced several regional Indian films, including the acclaimed Marathi film Ventilator 2016. Despite maintaining privacy, Chopra's off-screen life, including her marriage to American singer and actor Nick Jonas, is the subject of substantial media coverage. Priyanka Chopra was born on the 18th of July 1982 in Jamshedpur, Bihar, present-day Jharkhand to Ashok and Madhu Chopra, both physicians in the Indian Army. Her father was a Punjabi Hindu from Ambala. Her mother Madhu Chopra from Jharkhand is the eldest daughter of Dr. Manohar Kishanakari, a former Congress veteran, and Madhu Jyotsnakari, ne Mary John, a former member of Bihar Legislative Assembly. Her late maternal grandmother, Mrs. Akari was a Jacobite Syrian Christian originally named Mary John belonging to the Kavalapara family of Kamarakam, Kotayam District, Kerala. Chopra has a brother, Siddharth, who is seven years, her junior. Bollywood actresses Paraniti Chopra, Meera Chopra and Manara Chopra are cousins. Due to her parents' professions as military physicians, the family was posted in a number of places in India, including Delhi, Chandigarh, Ambala, Ladakh, Lucknow, Bareilly, and Pune. Among the schools she attended were, La Martinia Girls School, in Lucknow, and St. Maria Gareddy College, in Bareilly. In an interview published in Daily News and Analysis, Chopra said that she did not mind traveling regularly and changing schools. She welcomed it as a new experience and a way to discover India's multicultural society. Among the many places that she lived, Chopra has fond memories as a child of playing in the valleys of Leh, in the cold northwestern Indian desert region of Ladakh. She has said, I think I was in class 4 when I was in Leh. My brother was just born. My dad was in the army and was posted there. I stayed in Leh for a year and my memories of that place are tremendous. We were all army kids there. We weren't living in houses, 
we were in bunkers in the valley and there was a stupa right on top of a hill which used to overlook our valley. We used to race up to the top of the stupa. She now considers Bareilly her hometown and maintains strong connections there. At 13, Chopper moved to the United States to study, living with her aunt, and attending schools in Newton, Massachusetts, and Cedar Rapids, Iowa, after a stop in Queens, New York, as her aunt's family also moved frequently. While in Massachusetts, she participated in several theater productions, and studied Western classical music, and choral singing. During her teenage years in the United States, Chopper sometimes faced racial issues and was bullied for being Indian by an African-American classmate. She has said, I was a gucky kid, had low self-esteem, came from a modest middle-class background, had white marks on my legs. But I was damn hard-working. Today, my legs sell 12 brands. After three years, Chopper returned to India, finishing the senior year of her high school education at the Army Public School in During this period, she won the local May Queen beauty pageant, after which she was pursued by admirers. Her family equipped their home with bars for her protection. Her mother entered her in the Feminimus India contest of 2000. She finished second, winning the Feminimus India world title. Chopra next won the Miss World pageant, where she was crowned Miss World 2000 and Miss World Continental Queen of Beauty Asia, Ampersand Oceania at the Millennium Dome in London on the 30th of November 2000. Chopra was the fifth Indian contestant to win Miss World, and the fourth to do so within seven years. She had enrolled in college, but left after winning the Miss World pageant. Chopra said that the Miss India and Miss World titles brought her recognition, and she began receiving offers for film roles. If you enjoyed this episode, kindly subscribe, like and share with friends and family to promote the channel. See you again in my next episode.